is Jackie Williams, and this is part of the Global Stampin' Video Hop. We're each sharing with you a one-sheet wonder of some description, and I decided I wanted to use the six by six papers because these papers often have a lot of wastage. Well, that's my experience, and so I wanted to show you some different ways where you could use the whole six by six piece to create some different card ideas. And I'm going to be using the Boho Indigo Medley. You can use any papers you wish, but these ones are some of my favorites. And you can see it's got quite a variety of prints in here. And you can buy the just the paper pack along with, uh, included in the paper pack, I should say, you get some embossed, very vanilla pieces. You receive two sheets, well actually four sheets of labels and flower die cuts, those four sheets. And then you also receive two sheets of gold foiled uh, leaves. And then there is also a little pack of very cute little flowers. And then if you buy the entire medley, then you also receive a stamp set and coordinating dies, as well as two rolls of coordinating ribbon. You've got the Knight of Navy and the gold. So our template will look like this, and this is a six by six piece. So I'm going to slide, actually I'll slide it over to this side. I'm going to use three pieces of paper. You can use six or nine or as many as you wish, but uh, I thought that using three would give us a good amount of cards. So following this template, I'm going to first cut at three and three fourths inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut through all three of those at once. And then this piece, I'm going to turn and cut at three and one quarter inches. And then this larger piece, I'll cut at one and a half and then just leave what's remaining, remaining. Set those aside up here. And then this smaller piece, I'm essentially this last piece, I'm just going to cut it in half. So wherever half ends up being approximately there. Now the first card that we're going to make will be using this three and three quarter by six inch piece. And I have done a video on this some time ago. I call this my rip and flip technique. So you're going to use all three of these to make three different cards. So you will need a card base in a coordinating color. And then you will need another piece that is slightly smaller than your card front. Uh, in this case, I'm using very vanilla, but you can use a different color. I'm just going to demonstrate one of these today, but I'll show you the other samples that I made. And I think I'll use this one. So basically all you're going to do is choose a point on the card and rip it. And then what you'll do is flip over one side and marry those together. Now the beauty of having all these different prints is you don't have to use this side and this side together. You can mix them up. In fact, I think I might do that. You just will need to make sure that you're tearing them approximately the same way and approximately the same sizes. And then you will just adhere that to your card front. You will need to decide which piece you want on bottom and which piece you want on top and make sure you put your adhesive on the correct side. Now they will overlap a little bit, but I have left it at the six inches rather than an exact card front size because if your tear is at an angle, which it will be, you will need to have that little bit of extra length for a bit of overlap. Then from here, we will just use some of our ribbon to embellish the card front. So I might run a ribbon like this. I like to cut my ribbon just a little bit longer than the card front or the piece that I'm working on and then turn that over and use my tear and tape to adhere that down. And then I will cut a separate piece to tie the bow. And keep in mind that the wider your ribbon is, the more length you need to tie a bow. So I've cut myself a fairly generous length here. 
I love this ribbon. It's got a beautiful kind of frayed edge. And then just tie your bow onto that existing flat piece. And adjust how you want it. All right, then what we would do is just add some sort of a label, whatever size or shape you want. You could even use some of the labels that come in this um, medley if you wish, and then just add some embellishments. So let me show you some finished ones that I have. So this is similar to the one that I was just showing you. You've got the ribbon across and the torn piece down here about two thirds from the bottom. You've got a little label, a couple of little a twine and a ribbon and some embellishments. This one is just slightly stepped up. We have tearing on the top and the bottom and then use gold ribbon for this one and one of the labels from the pack. And then this last sample, I actually turned horizontal, did the same tearing as this one, but just turned it uh, 90 degrees and then put a larger label going this direction and included some of the die cuts that are in this medley. The possibilities are endless with this particular template. Then the next card we wanna do, we will use these pieces, which are this piece, the one and a half by three and a quarter. And you could use them as is, choose which sides you wanna have showing. You can use them as is, or you can mat them onto a piece of Knight of Navy. Now for this one with my card front, I'm going to use a piece of that vanilla that is already pre-embossed in the medley. However, you can use a flat piece of card or emboss it yourself with an embossing folder. And then basically we are just going to layer those on. And I like to kind of eyeball where they might sit. And then I would adhere the middle one down first and then the two side ones. So this one would end up looking something like this where I've layered the three pieces on. I have put ribbon across, this time chose to use the gold, and this time used a Knight of Navy label and white embossed. However, you could use vanilla and stamp with Knight of Navy as well. And I've used these cute little flowers that come in the medley, or you can die cut or punch some flowers. These ones have these adorable little wooden beads in the middle, so that, that's kind of fun. And also added some Knight of Navy rhinestones. The next card we're gonna do, we will use these pieces down here so there's one and eighth by one and an eighth by about two and three quarters. I didn't write that in, but this piece cut in half. And what we're gonna do here is I have some Knight of Navy pieces, some long pieces, and I'm just gonna put adhesive down these strips and then choosing what prints I wanna have showing. I'm just going to place one here and then the other one down below, creating a long strip. Now there is a join in the middle, but we're gonna do something about that. So you'll end up with three pieces that look like this. And you can choose to use a solid cardstock or an embossed piece of cardstock. And again, we are just gonna layer them on the front, making sure those joins are all in the same place, but they should be without much effort. So it will look something like this. And then what we're gonna do is take our wide Knight of Navy ribbon or, or whatever wide ribbon you wanna do and just run that across where those seams are. So the finished one would look like this. And so you can't even see where those joins are and you get the appearance of a long strip, but really you've just used these little scraps that are left. And then another just simple label, one of the little flowers and some of the gold enamel dots. Then our last card, we'll use the three quarter inch by three and a quarter inch, so these tiny strips here. And that one, I will grab a piece of the embossed because much of this is gonna be left plain. So having that embossing in the background just, just adds a little interest. And I'm going to use one of the uh, So Sentimental scalloped rectangle dies. However, you can use any kind of large die. And what I'm gonna do is place these behind, but they are just a little bit shorter than I want them to be. So just go ahead and cut them in half. You don't have to cut them neatly. 
And then what we'll do is just adhere those. I'm just gonna gauge about where I want it to be. About there. And then make sure that's straight. And then this one I'll have, just create that little gap there, about there. Yeah, about there. And then we will just do the same with these ones. And I'll just gauge about where I want it to be. Just approximating. Okay, so we'll end up looking like that. And I did use my bone folder and just kind of curled up those corners a little bit like that. And then your die shape, you can then just place over your little strips like this. And then we just want to decorate the the die shape, either with words or otherwise. I wanted to use one of the beautiful vases from the Boho Indigo stamp set. We can also stamp the thank you up the side. No one's to say that your words always have to be horizontal. And then I'm going to use some of these die cuts, these gold foiled die cuts to create something in the vase. So I would just layer that in and maybe have some of the taller ones and things and layer those together. And it's all right if it's going off your shape. I kind of like that as well. And then the finished one will look like this. And I've added a little bit of the gold twine and some of the gold enamel dots again. So I hope you've enjoyed that and can get a little bit more use out of your six by six papers. Thanks for watching me and enjoy the rest of your hop. This is Jackie Williams and please subscribe while you're here. See you next time. Bye-bye.